In a traditional approach, teachers let their lessons explain every concept and providing answers, while when using constructivist approaches like coding, tinkering, robotics, microelectronics as teaching and learning tools inside the school curricula, they encourage students to ask the right questions, leaving them free to build their answers, discover solutions and solve problems. This leads to a more complete understanding of reality and to development of many competencies useful to face many kinds of problems and the challenges that arise. Constructivist learning approaches are perfect for all students, no matter their learning style, their culture, their background. Girls can be really engaged to STEM subjects working with Tinker and Robotics because they can free their creativity and go through difficult problems without the fear of failure. When working with Tinkery and Robotics, there are also big differences in the teaching approach and in the role of teacher, who becomes just a facilitator of the learning process. In this video, we are going to give some easy and practical examples of how the use of Tinkery and Robotics can transform passive students into enthusiastic makers, able to use their creativity to further their skills and competencies. We are going to show how boys and girls, using inexpensive materials, can create different kinds of prototypes of a robotic hand. It doesn't matter what kind of material or kit you decide to use, what is important is what you want to create and what the learning objectives are. We would start the lesson by asking the students to look at one of their hands to understand its movement in order to build a prototype, let's say a model, that is able to reproduce its functionality. This first phase connects the real world with imagination and the creativity. By observing and investigating the anatomy of and the movement of fingers, students have to imagine how to build a suitable model. Instead of presenting a tutorial to follow, it can be useful to give students the chance to choose from different materials, like cardboard, rubber bands, straws, tape, strings, Lego bricks, and ask them to create their model through tinkering. But uh, what is tinkering? What is robotics? Tinkering is a, a playful and explorative way of approaching problems, a kind of learning based on creativity and the collaboration. The tinkering activity should allow the students to experiment a wide range of possibilities, allowing everyone to find a goal that will engage them. It is better to propose uh, teams to explore, showing different examples. The focus of tinkering activities is the process more than the result. Tinkering and robotics activities uh, should then stimulate peer collaboration, sharing of ideas, teamwork, to learn how to work together to achieve a common goal. Even a simple activity, like building a cardboard hand, can help younger students to develop a computational thinking that is the set of skills that are necessary in reasoning to find a solution to a problem. It is a rigorous process, a way of thinking that is not necessarily connected with programming and it is independent from the language or software used for development. Using computational thinking means breaking down a problem into smaller parts, useful to find a solution algorithms, to write the instructions and analyze the results, and finally, to export this process as a model to solve similar problems. Pupils from the 5th and the 6th grade have enough knowledge to go further with the model and include the servos and the microelectronics with little bits or using little boards like Microbit or Makei Makei to motorize the cardboard prototype they have created using software like a MacCode or Scratch to code the movement. Once the prototypes are made, it is very important that the teacher leads a briefing phase where students present their work and reflect on it. Probably, at this point, the teacher should bring the need to work not only on the fingers flexion and extension, but also on the grip and the necessity of the thumb for a mechanism for grasping objects. Teachers can speak about the use of robots to help people's life, like when using dangerous liquids 
assembling a car or the use of prosthetics. Some robotics kits can be used to make students build other prototypes, able to grasp objects from one point to another, imitating the work of industrial robots. It is very important when using educational robotics at school to combine hands-on activities with coding activities to give students the necessary skills when working directly on robots. It is important to highlight, in fact, that a robot can fail its task both to, a mis to mistakes in its program and in its building. The biggest value using Tinker and Robotics in learning, program in learning programming software is the transfer that the artifact brings to solving the problem or building the prototype. The use of an artifact as learning mediator, in fact, allows pupils to consider an error just as a starting point to rethinking the problem, instead of considering it a failure. Now that you have heard a little bit about robotics and tinkering, I really encourage you to participate in Code Week and build and program your own prototype. You will find below some lesson plans that will help you uh, to get started. And don't forget to add your activity to the Code Week uh, website.